Hi everyone. I know that some of you have been having a little trouble getting started with your first virtual NMI session. So in this video, I'm going to try to make it easy for you to get started by showing you how to set up your Zoom account, how to start your first meeting, how to prepare for that first meeting, how to download the Zoom app, and also to look at a few important features of Zoom. So let's begin. So the first thing we're going to look at is setting up your Zoom account. In order to do this, you can just go to your browser. I use Google Chrome. I know some of you may use Edge or if you have an Apple device, you may use Safari. So you open Google Chrome and in the address box at the top, you type in zoom.us. Press enter. It takes you to the Zoom homepage. Here you will see the option to sign in or to sign up, it's free. If you already have a Zoom account, just click on sign in. If not, click sign up, it's free. I'm just going to put a random date of birth here. I am setting this account up for the district NMI. So I will type in the email address of the district NMI. Click sign up and it says an activation email was sent. So I'm going to check my email to see what was sent. So this is the email I got from Zoom. At this point, all I have to do is click activate account. Enter my name. I'm putting missions TNT. Enter a password. Click I'm not a robot. Are you signing up on behalf of a primary or secondary institution? No. Click continue. You can skip this step. And you can start a meeting now or you can go to your account. I'm going to choose go to my account. And that takes you straight to your profile page. Now this part is completely optional. You can change your profile picture that will show up when you are on Zoom and your video is off. So I'm just going to change it to an NMI icon. Click Upload. Select the icon. I'm just going to choose this one. Resize it. Click Save. And at this point, I'm just going to log out and log back in. Click on the icon and click Sign Out. Great. So now that we have a Zoom account, the next thing that we want to do is schedule our NMI session. So we can sign in. It takes you straight to the meetings page. You see meetings on the left hand side and on the right hand side, you'll see the option to schedule a meeting. When you click on that, you get to set the details of your meeting. I'm going to put a topic mission session one. Description is optional. You set the date and time of your meeting. The duration, basic Zoom or free Zoom, which is what you will have, offers a 40 minute session. For an NMI educational session, this is perfect. This is ideal. We do not need to purchase a Zoom plan because this is sufficient for us to get a session done to be impactful and in another video we will show you a sample of what an NMI lesson can look like so we scroll down and you will see the option on the time zone for a recurring meeting I would recommend that you select recurring meeting this way you do not have to keep creating a new meeting every time you have a session and you do not have to keep sending out different meeting IDs and codes for Zoom for persons to join your meeting. They will just use the same meeting ID and the same code all the time. So click on recurring meeting, recurrence, click no fixed time. For the meeting ID, I would select generate automatically. 
so that Zoom will create its own meeting ID for my mission session. For the passcode, I want to change it to something that is memorable. So I'm just going to use the word Nazarene. Select a waiting room and also select mute participants upon entry. Click save. Once you have created that meeting on Zoom, you can now send an invite to all the persons in church and this invite can be sent out to other persons as well via email or via WhatsApp. So you can click on the right hand side here you will see copy invitation so you click on copy invitation so this is the invitation that you will be copying this is the link that persons can click on to get access to that meeting and this is the meeting id and passcode here so copy meeting invitation it's copied to the clipboard i'll close that off and i can go over to my email Compose. I'm just going to send a test to myself. So you just paste the invitation and just type in your subject and click send. So the information to gain access to that meeting has been sent out to persons. When you go back to your Zoom screen, you can sign out and then return when you're ready to start the meeting. I recommend that you return 15 minutes prior to the start of the meeting just to ensure that everything is working fine. So let's sign out and we'll sign back in. So it's 15 minutes before the start of our first virtual NMI session. So I'm going to sign in and let's see what happens. Sign in. My information is there. I click sign in. Okay, so you see that our meeting is here under meetings. It's a recurring missions meeting. Click on start to start that meeting. You will get the option to download the Zoom app to your laptop or you can just launch the meeting. If you click on launch meeting, you see the option to join from your browser. I click on that and you'll be able to join the meeting from here. Click allow. Good. So this is what it looks like here. I'm just going to join the session with the audio from my computer. Zoom wants to access my microphone allow. Great. So I am in the session, but I want to show you how to access the app. So I'm just going to end this session click on meetings and that meeting is here still so I click on start and I want to install the zoom client click download now then click on this .exe file click on install anyway great and you'll see the app come up once it has been installed and it automatically joins you to that first meeting click join with computer audio you can select this option to automatically do so and then click join with computer audio and this is the screen that you would see i just want to show you how to how to start your meeting from the app before i show you some of the features of zoom some ending so you can search for the app zoom enter click sign in enter your email click sign in Great. Here you would go on meetings and you will see the mission session here. Click on it and here you can click on start. Great. So we're back here in our first meeting. You see the options here to mute, start video, which I would, but I'm using the video right now from my laptop to record this. Click on participants. And on this side is where you will see persons who are joining your meeting. Because we have enabled our waiting room, we have the option to admit persons into the room. So you'll see the option to admit someone or to admit a bunch of people at a time. 
this I think is very useful because there are times when you would want to speak with select persons prior to your meeting before you allow everybody else into the meeting and so this would be helpful at this time. You have the option to chat and to welcome everyone, be a good host. Share screen is one of the most important features and at this point let me just show you what share screen could do because it allows you to be able to use your PowerPoint presentations and to show it to everybody who's in that Zoom meeting or to look at videos together. So I'm going to click share screen and you would want to select these two options at the bottom of this window, share sound and optimize for video clip and then click on screen option and click share. This shares your screen. Good, so this is what my screen looks like. And if I wanted to share a PowerPoint, so I'm just gonna quickly open this up and as fast as possible, start this slideshow. Great, so this is what everyone will be seeing on their screen while you would share with them about whatever your PowerPoint is on. And you can control your PowerPoint and this is, they'll be able to see it as is. There is the option for you to make markings on your screen. So you just click on annotate and draw. If you want to highlight an area and you can erase it as well, click on the eraser. And so you can go through the rest of your slideshow and be interactive. You can also share a YouTube video or anything that you have on your system that you're able to access. You can click on YouTube and play a, a video or a song. You click on a song and it's going to play and everybody's going to see it and everybody's going to hear it. When you're ready to finish sharing your screen, click on stop share at the top here. And you're back to your Zoom screen. You also have this option to record your meetings. So you just click on record and it starts recording for you. You stop and the recording only concludes at the end of the meeting as you'll see here. So let's just end this meeting. Goodbye everyone and let's take a look at that recording. So it is stored in Documents, Zoom, and you look for the date and you will see your missions recording. And here you go. Good. And it and starts. Start. Good. So that's where your recording is. So that's it for your focused NMI session. There are other features that you can use, such as spotlighting, to make the session better but I will share that with you during our sample lesson video. Thanks for watching this video, guys. I hope that it was very helpful and that you are able to proceed with starting your first virtual NMI session. If you have any questions or comments, you can leave it on the video or you can contact me personally and I'll do my very best to help you get started and to continue with your NMI sessions in your local churches. Take care. I'm just going to join the session. It's installing. And they'll be able to hear me. Yes, it's taking me very long. This my internet is not as fast as it should be. A good feature of Zoom is that you can spotlight persons who are Hi. I'm in a meeting. You wanna say hi? Yeah. Okay. Bye. Bye.
That's all. Let me just show. Let me just do one thing. Give me one minute. Give me one minute. One minute. One minute. Another important feature is Mommy. spotlight. Yeah. Yes. Yeah. 